Hi, I'm going to show you how to change the response on this AMT volume pedal. It's a really cool little volume pedal, uh, but it doesn't have much travel, and a lot of the travel is dead space. At the back end, the silent part, and at the front end, the full volume part, the volume doesn't change very much. Let's take the bottom off, and I'll show you how it works and how we can fix this. It's an optical volume pedal. There's an LED and a photo detector, and between them there's a shutter which moves backwards and forwards with the motion of the pedal. If you rock the pedal you can see it moving. The cutout in that shutter determines the response of the pedal. Undo the four screws on top and take off the top part of the pedal. You can see the, the underlying rocker mechanism. If you look underneath there you'll see a curved piece of metal sticking down into the body of the pedal. That actually moves the shutter that we saw on the previous clip. Undo the hex bolt and take off the rocker on the top. Don't lose the two washers. Let's look at what we've got to do to change the response of this pedal. You see that teardrop cut out in the shutter? Okay, that's what we have to change the shape of. Uh, at the moment it uses only a small part of the travel and there's very, very little change, particularly at the top end. It's very wide, very quickly. Close up it looks like this. I used a multi-tool to open up the teardrop in that shutter. You could also use a needle file. Here I've opened out the bottom of the teardrop, just to use more travel on the pedal. The actual shape doesn't matter at this stage, because the next step will actually determine the response curve. I now need a small piece of clear plastic to make a window. This is what I'm going to use, but anything will do. So I just need to super glue that window over the opening that I made bigger earlier. And here's the window that I've stuck down. Uh, I've tried to make sure that nothing overhangs um, because it'll get in the way of the mechanism. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to paint the shape of the new response that we want onto this clear plastic window. We're going to use very opaque black paint because this is an optical pedal. Blocking the light is what makes the volume pedal work. So we're going to paint that window going to paint a smooth curve using, as I say, some very thick, opaque black paint. I'm using modelling enamel. Here's the response that I painted, quite a linear response. You can hold it up to the window to see that the paint is really opaque. And this is why you can't use something like a Sharpie, uh, because if you hold it up to the light, actually, you can still see through it. Here's the response curve that I painted. After I tried it at a gig, I changed the response curve slightly. This is the second attempt. Uh, this is more responsive at the, at the top end. Let the paint dry and then reassemble your pedal. Here's a picture of how the hex nut, bolt and washers fit together. Then you can test the response of your pedal uh, with the changes that you've made. Uh, like I did, you might want to have a few goes at this to get a response that you like. Also, it's up to you whether you want the pedal to be silent when it's right back or if you want some sort of minimum volume level. Uh, you can play with different profiles. It just depends how far back you, uh, you extend the window uh, and, the, and the unpainted area. So you've got different things you can try. Have a few goes. Have fun. Thanks for watching. I hope you have fun with your new response on your pedal.